Number five then, from paper one of the 2021 Advanced Higher Resource paper. Just a little two mark question here. Solid of revolution. A solid is formed by rotating the curve with this equation between x equals three and five, two pi radians, complete turn about the x-axis. What's the exact value of its volume? Well, we're not gonna get that volume form at the front. It's quite an easy one because it's just volume of a cylinder, basically. Because what you've got is, if you've got this now, a root x graph would look like this. So if it's rotated, it would flip down here as well. It'd be spinning around. That would be the outline of it. It said it's between three and five. So there'd be a section cut out here at three. There'd be a section cut here at five. And it's this bit in between that you want. It's that little cup shape. That's the volume you're looking for between three and five. And the way you work out a volume is, you just work out the volume of all these little thin discs, these little thin cylinders. And the volume of a cylinder is pi r squared h. Now, the radius of that particular one, well, any of them, I suppose, is the y-coordinate. Its thickness, you make as small as possible, so it's just a small change in x. So that means the volume of that little thin disc there is going to be pi y squared dx. And then you just add them all up, because they all have various, width, various radii. You add them all up, and that's your formula. So that's what you just put down. So you put down v equals, you might as well take that pi out, pi y squared dx, because it was rotating about the x-axis, so the y was the radius. It's just pi r squared h. So putting in the specific figures then, it was from three to five. If y is two root x, then squaring it will be four x. So I'll just put the x here, and the four can come out and join the pi. I should have left more room for that four. Now, that's the calculation. That's the first mark. Pi y squared dx from three to five. Now you just do it. So it's four pi times, and it's really straightforward because that just goes to a half x squared to get evaluated. You might as well take the half out, so I'll now make that 2, and then it's work it out at 5, that'll be 5 squared. Work it out, evaluate it at 3, that'll be 3 squared. You might think, oh, that's just like a 3, 4, 5 triangle, so it must be 4 squared is 16. So you've got 2 times 16, which is 32 pi units, whatever they happen to be, cubed for the second mark.